God says, I can overturn and I will always answer. I am the God of the overturn and I am the God of the answer. What does he mean overturn? It's the same thing we were just talking about moments ago where it was saying that God uh, is not holding your sins to you. He's not the one accusing you. He's not holding a hammer trying to take you out because of your issues. God is the one trying to set you free from the issues. He's the one, he's the voice Jesus is ever interceding for you in heavenly places. He's the advocate for you. He's the one coming against the accuser. So he says, he says, uh, set forth your case that you may be proved right, he says in Isaiah 43, 26, because God is trying to prove you right. So what is he trying to do? He's trying to overturn the lie. He's trying to overturn the, the condemnation. He's trying and he will because he's the God of the overturn. He will overturn the injustice. There's fire behind that. He will overturn the injustice because he's the God of the overturn. Any injustice that you've endured, any injustice that, you, justice that you've been going through, God is the God of the overturn. It's only a matter of time before he turns that thing around. He says that, he says that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. He says in his word that I will turn this in your favor. But watch this. Here's the key. And here's the breaker. We are walking into a season of overturn. It's one thing for God to overturn. But we are walking into a season of overturn. There is going to be a massive overturn of injustice from the head to the feet there's going to be a massive overturn of injustice from the crown to the toes god bless you nancy james thank you james thank you for joining us and god says i always answer in other words he always has the final say now i'm going to say this because i don't want you guys to assume what i am saying just in general, God always has the final say. When you have two opposing opponents or parties or two people arguing, this is how God works. He comes in and he answers that circumstance. And often he is in a place where he needs both people to see that he is going to do what he's going to do because he's God. He wants people to see that I am God. So he deals with people in their own separate corner. So God wants to deal with you and he wants to deal with whomever in their own, in your own separate corner because we, we are all running our own race in our own place God is going to judge that accordingly in other words it's between him and you it's between him and you it's important that we pay attention to that so God is going to overturn the injustice on behalf of you and he always answers he always answers in other words, there's going to be, and I want to keep this for the sake of, a, 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 of, of, of some cushion here. I want to keep this on the subject of you. In your life, in what you're going through, God will always make a showing of truth. Whatever lie has uh, whatever lie 
has afflicted your life, God will always eventually answer that if you stay standing in faith. There it is. Whatever lie, whatever injustice has been there, God will always answer it. Sometimes it's just a matter of time. He will always answer it as long as you stay standing in faith. As long as you stay standing in faith. Why? Because he's the God of the overturn and he's the God of the answer. to talk to you really quickly before we get off about victory now you've been trusting God for something it could be anything it could be for a new car you've been believing God for a job whatever it is that you've been trusting God for we know that there's a multitude of people out there trusting God for specific things and there's a lot of things happening in current events where there are multiple prophetic words being released I want to say this about the prophetic word because I see a lot of people are not understanding how the prophetic works now when you set yourself to believe God for something there's going to be a test there's going to be a trial there's going to be tribulation in the midst of that if there's not those things then um, there's no opportunity for God to come forth God comes forth in the midst of trial and tribulation the word of God is proven in the midst of fire God proves his word with fire every time. If you are really carrying the fire or if you are really carrying the word of the Lord, there's going to be fire that comes with it. There's always a fire that follows the real word of God because God makes his ministers a flame of fire. God refines his servants with fire. God refines every true word that he releases with fire. What does it do? It gets rid of it. it the fire burns up flesh. The fire is designed to burn up flesh because when that word is purified, it becomes something solid that you can stand on. Some parts of the scripture refer to it as a shaking, a shaking off of the things that were made so that the things of God may remain. There's a process for the victory. There's a process of death. Every victory in Christ. I'm going to say this. For every prophetic solution, for every prophetic solution and prophetic blessing, there's a prophetic problem. Because the prophetic problem gives birth to the prophetic answer. The prophetic problem gives birth to the prophetic solution. So the prophetic doesn't really begin, the word, the stand doesn't really begin until there's opposition, until it looks impossible, until, uh, 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 until the fire is hot. I see many prophets prophesying when everything looks in their favor in their life or whatever circumstance the prophetic is powerful when the opposition comes because it's out of the opposition that God will give birth to the miracle 
So for every prophetic word in Christ, because it follows the pattern of Christ, there is a death, a burial, and a resurrection for every prophetic word in Christ. There's a death, there's a burial, and there's a resurrection for every prophetic word in Christ. That's the word over your life. That's the word, whatever you believe in God for. That's the word over the promises that God has released over you. There's a death, a burial, and a resurrection for every prophetic word in Christ. I don't have time to teach on each one of those subjects, but I just want to say this to you, that you're going to have to endure a death for a true word that God has released in your life to come forth. Why? Because the part of you that needs to die is the part of you that is trying to see this thing come forth. Because it's God who's going to bring it forth. Watch this. God wants to reveal himself in the word. The word is not there just to give you something. The word is there to reveal Christ. And it's not just to reveal Christ to you. It's to reveal Christ to everybody watching. God will stand by his word every time. Every time and every time again. He's not a man that he should lie. So if you are carrying the real word of the Lord, watch and see what God does. Because he's not a man that he should lie. And because everybody is watching, God is going to show himself through. Because the word was not there just to deliver the promise. The word is there to reveal Christ. In every promise, there is an opportunity to reveal Christ. And wherever Christ is is uh, wherever Christ needs to be revealed, you have to die. So there's a death, a burial, and a resurrection to every promise. A death, a burial, and a resurrection to every victory in Christ. The burial is where you have to humble yourself and accept that God is God. The burial is where you just got to put your trust in him. The burial reveals who you really trust in. For all my prophets out there, the prophetic does not begin until the impossible. Because when the impossible comes, that's when the prophetic is fire. When the impossible comes, that's when the prophetic is necessary because the prophets arise and they become the voice that pushes that thing into manifestation. The prophetic comes and it declares and it decrees and it moves. And for your life personally, when that thing is facing opposition, that's the moment for you to speak as the prophet over your own life. That's where you rise up. That's where you speak. It's easy to speak a word when things look in your favor. It's easy to continue to speak the word when things look like they're working. But the minute when things shut down is where the true test of the prophetic word that you carry comes, to pat, or, or comes forward. And really, it's not contingent on just what you can do. It's based on what God can do. When you put your trust in God, watch what he does. He will... He will ignite you with the fire of the prophetic and you will begin to decree. You will begin to declare. You will be now standing not in your own confidence. You will begin standing not in your own faith and your own trust, but you will now be standing in the confidence and in the faith of God himself because the situation has burned you away and now there's nothing left but God to move. This is part of what our nation is going through. This is part of what our nation is going through. I was saying the other day, I said, where are all the dead prophets? <laughs> where did they go? Because if you've ever really experienced God, you know that everything real in God goes through a death. The death is designed to Get rid of all the flesh. It's designed to reveal Christ 
every single time. Hallelujah. So, Father God, we pray. We pray, and, and I know this went long, but, Father, we pray and we thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're doing in our life and our nation. We glorify you. We worship you in the midst of everything that's happening. Whatever side you're on, whoever you are, all God wants to do is reveal Jesus in the midst of it's about Jesus. All God wants to do is reveal himself. So whoever you are, however you stand, whatever you're going through, Nadia says, it's all right. It's okay. Let's be in agreement. Let's stand in unity. If anything, let's do it in Christ Jesus. Because at the end of the day, it's Jesus that's going to shine no matter what. Father God, we get into alignment with you. Whatever your will is, Lord, let it be done. And for those of us standing on whatever we're standing on, give us strength. Encourage us, Father. Encourage us in the glory of your Son. We thank you, Lord, for answers. We thank you, Lord God, for peace, wisdom in the midst.